this cross. We got ourselves a four roses. Hey, Alex. You're going to want to prepare yourself for this one. Woman was tortured to death. So I wanted to begin by asking you, the, the look of your character in this uh, is you know, very extreme, very interesting. Mm -hmm. did you, how much did, were you involved in that? Was it all just sort of written in the script, or did you have a lot of, you know, of how you wanted that's, this guy to look? Yeah, that's purely my invention, dude. I mean, um, that was one of the images that jumped out at me when I first read the script. I mean, Rob called me and told me that he was making this film, and he, and he told me the role that he... He gave me a description of the role that he had in mind that he would like me to play, and um, I was immediately intrigued, but when I read the script, I just I just had this, I couldn't stop seeing him any other way. Like, I just felt like a guy like that, the amount of energy that it would take to uh, to support the, the sort of uh, philosophical construct that he's had to build around these really sort of animalistic compulsions uh, would would make him look like that. It'd be almost eating away at him. I mean, he sort of vibrates at a, on a borderline hyper real level. And so um, I said to, to Rob, I said, you know, I would want to radically, I would want to lose a lot of weight. I mean, this guy's got to look like it's got to be disturbing. When we see him in that cage sequence in the opening, uh, we have to feel like even though he hasn't done anything terrible yet, we don't know who he is, we have a feeling of ominous, you know, sort of storm clouds coming, but we need to, that needs to be represented in sort of like the way that he is, the way he looks. And so um, I went to work on that and was put in touch with this guy, Simon Watterson, um, out of the UK, who sort of specializes in that, and he helped me design a, uh, well, he designed for me a nutritional, uh, plan and an exercise program and I was still doing this play in London for like six more weeks so we went right to work and started trying to create that image. Yeah, it's very intense. I mean, it's definitely, like you said, like you get, you're scared of this guy from just looking at him yeah. before you've really seen him do Good. anything. That's, <laughs> That's what you were going for. Yeah. Did you do a lot of research into like, you know, serial killers and, and that kind of stuff to kind of get in the mindset of who this was? Or did you sort of create it for yourself based on what you know? Well, I personally have always been fascinated by that stuff. So anytime I've ever uh, had an opportunity to when you know, a, a documentary or interviews, you know, Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer and all those guys, I've always been fascinated by it, and I've always not been able to stop watching, and uh, it's just made me think about, like, how do these guys, I mean, how do you sort of uh, orchestrate a set of, you know, um, a construct to protect the truth that you must know on some way down deep in your soul that you're the you're the lioness that kills her young and kills the rest of the young in the lion pride, and yet, and you're, and and you should in the, in the animal kingdom, you would just be completely shunned and 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 not accepted from society anymore. And yet, these guys operate very much within society, and so they have to build this like incredibly elaborate construct for themselves. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I, I the minute I looked at, at at Picasso, I thought, well, this is I'm kind of I'm really fascinated by this, and this is gonna require a lot of figuring that out for him, finding out what that is for him. What is the overriding mission statement? How does he... And so then it, it, it really took on a life of its own, Picasso, because um, I didn't feel tied to any sort of Ted Bundy reality. I mean, it was mm. sort of almost hyper-real. It was a, a villain with elements of that, but a villain that you'd kind of only experience in the movies, you know? It was flashy and magnetic and sort of at the same time that it was so horrific what he does. And I, I was shooting for that, you know, and I thought that the, that the character ha was going to give me that opportunity. Yeah, I think you definitely nailed it. Oh, That's good. what you were going for. You, you nailed it with this one. We've got to get inside his head. Where would he be? He's already in the building. Move! Bethany, see your hands! Can do better than that.